What's up guys, I'm Polly Popo. I got a little noise going on with my camera. Uh, what can you do? Um, I wanna go over some stuff today on the NPC to change your skins that are on those new plugins. I wanna show you how to do it. What I did, I used my brand 8bar Beats, uh, 8barbeats.com. I just put 8bar Beats. And the reason I chose that is because every one of my beats starts with eight bars and then I kind of explode it from there and go from there. And what I wanna show you is how to put your logo inside of your MPC in standalone. And I think it's really, really dope. And I think we all want to have our brand whenever we're doing videos or showing off our MPC. I'm not going to get all the way into how to customize each skin. Uh, I have friends that are doing that and they're going to be uh, making custom skins for MPC users. It's a lot of tedious work. If you're into Photoshop and graphic design, that might be for you. But me, I just wanted my brand there. And I still gotta clean it up a little bit, but the idea is there. So that's what we're gonna jump into. Let me show you what it looks like on the MPC. And then I've already done it on my MPC Live, so we'll do it on my MPC X step by step. This way you guys can follow along and uh, I'll make sure to go over every step so you don't have to do it more than once. And then you can kinda get the idea and then start downloading your own buttons and doing stuff like that. It's one thing to be able to make music on the MPC, but now it's expanded into graphic designing. So it's just constant fun, constant learning. Right on guys, again, I'm Pauly Popo, and if you're new to the channel, hit that like button. I really would love nothing more than to give an MPC away every month. In order for me to do that, I have to have a ton of likes. And uh, I don't know, it's just something that I, I was kind of thinking about guys can help me with that I want to make a video about that later on but just kind of pass that around that there's a dude out there wanting to give out NPCs right on let's get in here I'm gonna show you what this looks like it is dope all right sorry I'm gonna have to turn this down way low but right now look we're in standalone no no uh, no nothing I'm gonna go to I only affected the Mellotron and you can do this for all of them you just hit menu program edit so you can see your plugin and right now I'll show you how to affect these and change all these buttons and all that stuff later in about like two minutes but what it looks like is like I hit this one here and I wanted my brand name at the bottom of this page so that's exactly what I did and it says eight bar beats and it's right there and it's really really cool can't really get a good view on it but it's there and that's all that matters yeah so yeah it's a little bitty picture right here and you can change the color of all these and everything like that you just go into Photoshop and do it and I'm going to show you how to all we're going to do is grab that synth folder and start editing so let's get it pretty dope right I mean me personally I'm more into how do I get my sounds in there so that I don't have to add effects to them I could just turn my cue links to my stock sounds that I made on my poly synth and which you can buy at 8barbeats.com and you go in there and you can just turn your your compression and everything you know it's just a lot easier layout to have your sounds inside of these plugins I think all you'd have to do is wipe them out I don't know it's crazy to make sound packs in the first place I've done it it's a tedious task but with repetition comes perfection and along with this here too um, I don't even know where to start with graphic design, but I do know how to put my logo inside of the MPC so that when I go on my video, then it's there and people know about it. Not. It's just awesome. I'll show you this real quick. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn on my MPC. I'm going to show you guys that it's not on here. There's nothing on here at all, okay? And um, I'll walk you through step by step how exactly we did it. Shouldn't take too long. And... Uh, I hope that you get it your first run through. Um, it's pretty easy, pretty self-explanatory, but I figured this would help. So we go ahead and we're gonna hit empty project. And then all I'm gonna do is hit the plug. I'm gonna do Mellotron again. You hit menu, program, edit, and then uh, go to the second tab. And see, there's no eight bar beats in in the corner. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna put eight bar beats right down here. 
so that whenever I go in there, we can we can check it out. So let's do it. First thing we're gonna do, we're gonna grab that USB cable and we're gonna plug it in the back. USB cable plugged in the back, check. USB going into the computer, into your MPC. I do not have the MPC software up and running. I'm not going to have the MPC up and running, okay? That's very important. You don't, I'm not gonna use the MPC software. Do not turn on your MPC software for this. You do not need to turn on your MPC software for this. Do not turn on your MPC software, okay? Trust me, what we're gonna do is put this bad boy in controller mode and yeah, without the software, check it. When I do this, you should be able to hear my TV make a little noise. It's just gonna recognize my solid state drive inside of my computer. I'm just gonna put it in controller mode without the software. And it's gonna stay on this screen. And what's gonna happen on my computer, I don't know if you heard it or not, it's just gonna stay in standalone mode right now. And automatically on my computer, it brought up my hard drive. All right, sorry for the poor video quality here, guys. I don't have my OBS up and running. Let's say your drive does not pop up. What you wanna do is go to the bottom of your screen and hit your folder. And then we'll go to your desktop PC. And this will let you go all the way back to where you can see your drives. It'll automatically pull up your drives for you, okay? So what this did, it pulled up my MPC drive. I'm gonna go down to my synth folder. It's important that you follow these steps. All we did, we turned on the MPC, put it in controller mode without the software running, and this popped up. I'm gonna double click on the synth folder. Go to any synth that you want. I'm gonna use Mellotron just because I wanna use this. Here it says uh, plug-in skins. So now you can change your buttons. Um, you just, I'm gonna change this one, watch. I'm gonna right click it and then hit edit. You can send it to Photoshop and, uh, you know, put a whole skin over this or whatever you wanna do. But I like the way this looks and I just wanna put like my logo right here. So what I'm gonna do is hit paste from my desktop, my 8 Bar Beats logo. In my MPC Live, I have it in white. So in this, I have it in black. I have to adjust this. That's what I mean. If you have it in Photoshop, you can just mask it however you want. It's got to kind of shape it. Now, like I say, if you're into graphic design and stuff like that, this is super fun. And um, you can get as creative as you want with it. But just let me finish this up here and then we'll wrap this video up and I'll show you in standalone mode that this will show up and that you can now customize your own skins. Ah, I was going to put it down here, but I kind of like it up here. I might as well do this right or as right as possible. Okay, looks good enough for me and you get the point. So I'm just gonna go over here, hit File, and Save. And that's it. I'm gonna hit the X on here, and this is gonna disappear. I'm gonna close everything out. You can see that this folder here, when I open it, it has the picture with my logo in it. So it's been edited. So I'm gonna close it out. And I'm going to show you the MPC is still in looking for computer mode. Again, <clears throat> wasn't very hard. All we did, we took that blue USB, plugged it in the computer, plug it into the X. Menu, controller mode, without the software running, pulls up your drive. You find the synth folder, click the synth folder, pick which synthesizer that you want to affect. I chose Mellotron just because it's the first one there and it looked cool and I have to affect them all so I started there. Um, I double click Mellotron, went on uh, skins 
and it showed me all the buttons. You right click and you hit edit. Not edit in photos, just edit. And then whenever you edit your photo, you can drag and drop your brand or whatever you want or put it into Photoshop. Save it as a PNG file and put it back and you're good to go. And now I'm going to show you in standalone mode on the NPC that that is there. Okay, let's check it out. So we're going to take it out of controller mode here. It's in standalone. Now take the blue USB cable out of the back. And empty project. And I'll just hit this plug here. I'm going to select Mellotron. menu program edit we know the first uh, page isn't affected because we did not affect it let's look at what the second page brings us and let's hope that this worked and I can put this video out it should say 8 bar beats right around here <laughs> alright so it's under the faders alright <laughs> but the point is there Nothing's perfect. I'll just go back and fix that later. I should have put it in the same spot I had this one. But you don't know until you try. But the cool thing is, is that you can try. Before, there was no, like, you couldn't even do it. There was no, you could possibly put your skins. I've had photos of people sending me custom skins that they're making, is what I'm saying. And they look nothing like the ones that are on here. And you're going to want them. And of course I'm going to push them on my channel as soon as they're ready. But uh, me personally, I want to get my sounds inside of those synthesizers. And I will figure it out. And when I do, I will share it. Because I don't want to have to go to my channel mixer and use those inserts when I can just add all my stuff in these plugins. Said uh, menu program edit. See my eight bar beats is down here on this one. See, pretty dope. It didn't work out so well for us on the MPC X because it kind of went behind these faders. But there's the eight bar beats. Now I could just go ahead and put it back down there, which I'm going to do right now. So if you want to see Crazy Man do this again. I'm going to plug the USB cable. I really need to rearrange my studio, guys. Again, guys, I hope that helped out. And, you know, it's something fun and positive to do. And you can customize your MPC now and make it look the way that you want it to look on those plugins. And I think that that adds so much value um, to your beat creation to be able to see a picture of your dog on there or your daughter or whatever it is, whenever, whatever inspires you. Um, but... Um, yeah, that was pretty much it. Just turn on your MPC, plug in the USB cable, put it in controller mode, locate the synth folder, find the plugin that you want, double click it, hit the plugin presets, right click, then hit edit, add your logo to it, and then go ahead and, and if you mess it up, you still have the original one that you can always drag right back into the folder. So don't be scared to break anything. You're not going to break anything. But um, I'm going to go back and try to put that logo somewhere else because it didn't really go where I wanted it to. But yeah, there's ways to do the whole custom skins with Photoshop and everything like that. Um, if any of you guys are good at graphic design, you want to go ahead and uh, make some of these. I do know a few people that are making them and I'll be more than happy to feature them on the channel. Guys. Right on, I'm Poli Popo. And uh, yeah, that's all I got today. But I'm going to be back tomorrow. and try to get on that video about giving away NPC too, okay?